Hello, this is the second in our series of tutorials that will teach you how to find articles using CINAHL, the Cumulative Index for Nursing and Allied Health. If you have not looked at the first tutorial in this series, you may wish to do so. You can find it on the Gerstein Library YouTube channel or under Guides and Tutorials on the Gerstein homepage. In our first tutorial, we learned how to access CINAHL and perform some basic searches. Now we are going to use CINAHL subject headings to find more relevant search results. This takes a little longer than a basic search, but it's usually worth the effort. Subject headings are standardized terms which are used by database staff to describe articles which are indexed in CINAHL. This means that regardless of the synonym used by a specific author, the search should retrieve all articles relating to a specific concept. For example, breastfeeding is also called nursing, but the subject heading for this concept should retrieve articles that use either synonym. To retrieve CINAHL subject headings, it's important to search one concept at a time. The major concepts in our search topic are breastfeeding and nursing interventions. Let's start with entering breastfeeding into the search box. Make sure the Suggest Subject Terms box is clicked. This is what tells CINAHL to search for subject headings related to the concept. CINAHL has found several subject headings. The subject heading at the top is the CINAHL suggested heading. If you click on the breastfeeding heading, CINAHL provides the tree view for this term. This shows you where the subject heading is located within the subject heading tree and which narrower or more specific subject headings fall under the breastfeeding concept. It is important to note that just because a subject heading falls under breastfeeding in the subject heading tree, it does not mean that they are included within the breastfeeding subject heading. An article indexed with the subject heading milk expression is not necessarily indexed under breastfeeding as well. We are interested in all aspects of breastfeeding and will combine them afterwards with our intervention. To include all of the terms below breastfeeding, I'll select the box next to the subject heading and then click Explode. Explode tells the search tool to search for breastfeeding and all of the narrower subject headings listed underneath it. In this case, the search will also look for the subject headings breastfeeding positions, latching, and milk expression. If you don't click Explode the results, the search will only search for breastfeeding. Now we can click Search Database to run the search. After the search runs, we can see all of the articles that are tagged with any of the subject headings we specified. We get over 9,000 results. Don't worry about the high number though, we still have to search for our second concept. Delete what is currently in the search box and type the new search term, in this case, nursing intervention. There are a wide variety of subject headings associated with nursing intervention. Nursing interventions is CINAHL's recommended term. If you would like to see if this is the concept you are interested in, you can click on Scope to see what it means. The scope note describes nursing interventions as action based on scientific rationale that is executed to benefit the client in a predicted way related to the nursing diagnosis and the stated goals. This is what we were looking for. Now we can follow the same process as for breastfeeding. Click on the term to see the tree. There are no terms indented underneath it, so there are no narrower terms. A broader term, nursing care, seems like it would be important to explore. I'll click on nursing care to see the tree for that term. One of the narrower terms here, maternal and child nursing, seems like a perfect fit. All of the narrower subject headings for maternal and child nursing seem important. So I'll explode the term and search the database. Now that we have the search results for our subject headings, it's time to combine them so we can retrieve the most relevant material for our topic. Make sure you delete what is in the search box so you are working with a clean slate. As you can see, CINAHL saves our search history. Select Search 1 and Search 2, then choose Search with AND, since we are looking for articles which include both of the subject headings. There are now about 400 results. 
much fewer than there were for each of our individual subject headings, and the results we have are more relevant. Great! In this tutorial, we learned how to find and use CINAHL subject headings and combine CINAHL subject headings to achieve relevant search results. In the next tutorial, we will look at performing keyword searches and limiting CINAHL search results.